Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create animated Instagram story in After Effects. These are very easy to create and you can use them for different purposes. All this by only using After Effects. So let's begin. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and before we begin, if you want to learn how to create animated Instagram stories in depth, then you can check out my Skillshare class in which I have shown how to create couple of examples based on real life projects from setting up your story layouts, animation and rendering. So if you want to learn more in depth, then you can check out my Skillshare class. Link for that will be in the description below. So here we are in After Effects and we will begin by creating a new composition. So let's go to composition, new comp and for this one, I'm going to make this 1080 by 1920 because Instagram stories are vertical and let's call this one story. Rest of things we can set frame rate to 30 and duration you can set whatever you want. Just click on OK. So here you can see we have this vertical comp and we will begin by creating a background. So for that, right click, go to new and let's create a new solid. Let's make this white for now. Just click on OK. So here we have this white background and we will start by creating some shapes. So for that, I'm going to select the pen tool. So just click and select this and stroke. I'm going to set this to zero fill. We can just pick whatever color you want. I want this bluish sort of color, but it's completely up to you. You can pick whatever you want. Just click on OK. Now make sure none of the layer is selected. And after that, you can start creating your shape. So just randomly start creating some spikes to create some interesting shapes and this is something that you can experiment on your own and once you're done with this you can just close this shape something like this so here you can see we have this shape and we can probably select this press ctrl d to duplicate this let's press r to rotate it and i'm going to rotate it by 180 degree so that this is top down and we can place one at the top something like that now we can tweak these further so let's select this and you can just pick a couple of these points and just move them here and there just tweak these parameters until you find something that looks good so i think this is looking fine and once you're done with this we are ready to add our text so for that i'm going to select the text tool so first i'm going to type black friday but it's completely up to you You can create whatever type of story you want and let's select this and for this one i'm using this montserrat font and i'm going to change this to black and let's select this and let's place this somewhere in the center using the line panel and if you're not able to see the line panel then you can go to windows and from here you can enable this and after that let's select this and make sure that its anchor point is in the center so in order to do that you can select the layer hold on the control key and double click on this so that the anchor point is in the center now we can select this press s to scale this down and let's scale this somewhere around here now we can place this However you want let's place it somewhere around here now we can select this press ctrl d to duplicate this and let's move this one below since i'm creating a black friday sale so i'm going to type the percentage discount so for this one i'm going to type 75 but if you are creating some other kind of story then you can type text according to that and let's scale this up and place it somewhere around here now i'm going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate this and let's select this and i'm going to change this to percentage let's select this one and i'm going to place this over here let's scale this down you can probably zoom in and let's duplicate this once again and i'm going to select this and move it down below and i'm going to type off now you can select this and let's scale this down as well and let's try to match it with this one so you can see that we have both of these and once you're happy with their size, you can align them however you want. So let's place this over here and I'm going to place this somewhere around here, just like that. So once we're done with this, we can add more text. Let's select this Black Friday, press Ctrl D to duplicate this and I'm going to place this over here. And on this one, I'm going to type my website motionnations.com and let's change its font. So I'm going to make this little bit thinner. Let's set this to medium. We can probably select this, press S to scale this down and let's align this to the center just like that. Now, once you're happy with your text, you can probably zoom out to see how this is looking. If you want, you can select everything and just align them into the center somewhere around here. So here you can see we have created this sort of thing. Now let's create a button at the end for a call out action. So I'm going to select this and make sure the rounded rectangle is selected. Now let's click and drag. You can see that it will create a rectangle just like that, which has this rounded rectangle corners. 
something like this now let's change its color and i'm going to set this to white again let's select this and let's align it to the center and now we can probably place it somewhere around here now let's add our text so in order to do that i'm going to quickly select the website press ctrl d and let's place this on top of it and let's move one copy over here and on this one let's type swipe up now we can probably select this and let's make this little bit bold so let's set this to extra bold now we can probably select both of these layers and let's go under the align panel and let's align them to the center just like that i think this is too bold so we can probably select this and let's set this to something like bold now we can probably select this press s to scale this down a little bit just like that so once you're happy with this we are ready to add a little bit of arrow on top of this so for that i'm going to quickly enable the grid so that we can do it precisely now let's zoom in and let's pick somewhere around here now you can click add one of these points then add this one and after that just click on this end so that we have this triangle sort of thing now we don't want the fill so you can click on fill and let's set this to none now increase the stroke to something like this it's completely up to you. you can pick whatever value looks good so yeah, i think this one is fine now we can select this and let's place this to the center of this comp just like that so we have our elements and we're pretty much done with this setup let's quickly turn off the grid now let's add one text on top of this so i'm going to select this black friday press ctrl d and let's call this one sale and let's pick this and i'm going to place this to the top of everything just over here and instead of black we can double click and let's change this color to white so here you can see we have created this layout but it's completely up to if you're creating a different kind of story then you can change the text and place them however you want you can also add images if you like so once you're done with this let's quickly align everything up so over here we can move these two layers on top of everything somewhere around here and let's select the sale text because this is on top of it just like that so before we proceed a lot of you watching right now have not subscribed to my channel and i want you to please do that because i want to hit 100k subscriber this year on my channel so make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon so let's continue so we have this sort of thing now let's quickly add some drop shadow onto these shape layers so that we have more sort of depth so let's search for drop shadow and let's drag them onto these so over here you can see we have this really nice shadow now let's play around with the distance and i'm going to set this to something like 35 and we can lower down the opacity little bit but it's completely up to you can play around with its value so i'm going to set this to somewhere around let's say 10 so i think this is looking fine maybe let's set this to 15 now we can copy this and let's paste this onto the bottom one so press ctrl v to paste it now in order to make this visible we have to change the direction and for this one i'm going to set this to something like negative 45 or 46 just like that so here you can see we have added this very nice depth to this so we are pretty much done with the layout now our next step is to animate this so now to do that we are going to select all of these layers except the background so i'm going to select them and let's animate them using the position property but it's completely up to you if you want to do the scale animation then you can do that as well now let's move the timeline indicator to somewhere around two seconds and let's add keyframe for all of these properties because this is going to be the final position and let's go to the very beginning first we are going to select this top one so which is this arrow and we have these swipe up and all of them so i'm going to select all of these three and i want them to come from bottom so let's move them somewhere around here and next we have the sale text so i'm going to set this and move it to the top just like that so here you can see we have done with these elements and let's pick this one so we have this shape so i'm going to move this to the top just like that and we have this one and let's move this to the bottom so that the shape is not visible and after that we have these elements so off we can just set this to somewhere around here percentage as well we can move it to this side 75 we can place it over here black friday we can move this to the top and at last the website we can also move them to the bottom so here you can see we have added the keyframe to all of these and if i play back you can see that all of these elements will come up 
But right now this is looking very boring. So in order to make this more interesting, we can select all the keyframes and then press F9 on the keyboard or you can just right click, go to keyframe assistant and AZs. And after that, we are going to go inside the graph editor by clicking over here. Now, if your graph looks different, then you can change it and make sure that you are using speed graph, not the value graph. After that, we can select the endpoints and let's move the graph and make it to look something like this. After that, we can go back. And now if I play back, here you can see we have all the elements coming up very nicely. But if you want, you can add a little bit of delay to a couple of these. So for example, I don't want these to come at once. So I'm going to select all of them and let's add a little bit of delay and we can add a little bit of delay between the off and percentage just like that. And if I play back here, you can see all of these comes afterwards. And also with these text, I'm going to add a little bit of delay with these two as well so that we have the arrow coming up first, just like that. Also, I want this arrow to keep on animating instead of stopping. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this. And after that, let's hold down the shift key and press page down key to move the indicator a couple of frames ahead. And then let's move this to the little bit top just like that. Now again, let's move the indicator to somewhere around here and let's copy this one and just paste it so that it goes back to its original position. Now we can select these two keyframes and just copy them and just keep on pasting them so that we have this continuous motion until you have the story length just like that. So once we're done with this, we can select all of them and let's press F9 to change the easing. Let's go to the graph and we are going to change them. So for this one, I'm going to just make them something like this, just like that. So if I play back here, you can see we have this arrow and it will keep on moving just like that. So now if I play back here, you can see we have created this animation. And again, if you want, you can play around with the details you can, and you can change whatever text you want. After that, you can render this out and you can use it on Instagram. So this is how you can create these kind of stories. And if you want to have an in-depth knowledge, then you can check out my Skillshare class. Link for that will be in the description below. Also, the project files for this tutorial is available on Patreon. So if you are supporting me over there, then you can download it from there. And if you are not, then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on Patreon. So with that being said, my name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.